Okay, Ma. Now we just cut the wood. Let's go and get this put on the fire and have us some lunch. Unbelievable. See you in a minute. Right, well, today is a Sunday. We're just toying about today. We're not going to do too much. We've got a little couple of things to do on that yellow McCulloch lawnmower. I had to buy a new primer bulb for it, so we're going to fit that. And also, I brought a new air filter, so we're going to put that one in a second. Uh, we've got Gary and Stacey coming over. Gary's working on another lawnmower he picks up uh, for £30. We'll have a look at him and see what he's been doing there to refurbish that. And uh, yeah, it's just another vlog. Come along for the ride. Right, okay, then here we are back on this little uh, Mount, not Mount Phil, what is it? Uh, McCulloch lawnmower. And uh, I bought a new air filter, as I told you, this one was totally crudded. I couldn't put that back in. So uh, again, I think it's only about £3.50, uh, something like that off of eBay. So it's probably a pattern part, but it'll do the job anyway. So I've got that. And I think you remember me telling you in the last video that this primer bulb here didn't seem to be doing too much. And when I give it a pull, fuel come out of it, hence it had split. So I basically just pulled it straight off. And again, this isn't the uh, actual part, it's a replacement part, but um, I bought a little kit there. And that just comprises of the, the actual primer bulb itself. And also its retaining clip. Now the retaining clip is a little raised, castellated sort of clip, and it only goes in one way, basically. So I'll show you that in a second. But first of all, we've got to get that old one out. So first thing to do, obviously, you can just literally pull that rubber off the first part of it and it comes off all right. And for the next part, what you've basically got to do, if you just imagine that is in there, you've got these little car slated bits and you've got to get like a hook tool or maybe a screwdriver, locate where they are and actually just get underneath and just prise forward on the little hooks. Now this is a crap tool I've got there, as you can see it's bent already. You want something which is probably stainless steel, which is a better, or maybe even a little terminal screwdriver. This thing's absolutely useless, so I'm gonna have to go and get a screwdriver. All right, let's try it with a little flat bladed screwdriver. Again, you've got to get under them castellated and pull it, there we go. As you can probably see there, just pulling it forward. Just go careful when you do this, you don't want to break anything. And as you can see, that's the way it's come out with the castellated things pointed upwards. So that's that out now. And again, you're gonna to have to dig the base of this out pretty carefully because it may be rotted in there or stuck as this one is. There we go. There we go, I've got that out in one go, look. So again, that's the base of it. Make sure it's all clean in there, which it is. So that when you put this in, this new one, it goes in obviously. Then you've got the castellated nut, which the castles point outwards. Just locate that on there like that. And that's gonna be the location of it like that. Now I'm gonna put a socket over that. Wait there, I'm gonna get one. Right, now as you can probably see, this is a, a 19 mil socket. And that can fit lovely just over there. And all I'm gonna do is just give it a gentle tap with a rubber mallet just to locate it. And there we go, everything is now seated again. That is how simple it is to put in the primer bulb on a Tecumseh carburetor using the 19 mil socket. So all I'm gonna do now is literally take our air filter, push it into its holder, locate it where it needs to go, and just give it half a turn and there we go, job's done, that's locked into place. All right, let's get this down on the floor and see if we can get this going now. All right, there we go.
Right, well I did charge that battery up, so I'm going to put the battery in now, see if we can get it going on the old uh, key start. Right, so it's just two screws here, if you remember rightly. Just undo them, as I say, the battery did take a charge, so... We'll see if that system works. Right, get that lid off there. And the battery just sits in here. That way around if I remember rightly. And then we've got these two cables here which just uh, just connects up into here. Like that. I'll put the cover back on, I don't need it off now anyway, I know it's fully charged. Right, now as I say, I haven't got a key. I don't know whether a screwdriver will do the job. Right, I don't know how this goes, so I'm going to have to just take the back off for a minute. Right, so let's just take these screws out of the back here. I don't know how it works. It can only be a simple switch. Right, yeah, look, it's only a switch, look, like that. So by looping them two wires together, right, put that one in there, and this one in there, well nothing's happening there, I don't know, something else I've got to investigate. I say we've taken that switch out, but uh, there seems to be a bit more to that than meets the eye, so... Oh well, that's something else I'm going to have to look into, I can't do it now. But simple control, it's just a normal switch as you can probably see there. So, I'm not sure about that one, I'll leave that off for the minute and I'll have to get back to that. Right, here we are, back in the log cabin now. This is what Gary picked up the other day, if you listened to my last uh, vlog, we was on the phone to Gary. They wanted £50 for it, he picked it up for £30. It is a Honda, is he? But it's a, um, how big is this one? 21 inch. 21 inch deck on this one. It's a really big one, so hopefully, when he's finished with this, it'll come on quite a bit of money. So, uh, your normal ones are about 18 inch, so it really is a large cut. Comes with a grass bag. It was a runner as well, so um, he's just going down now, just filling in a few little uh, ripples. He's rubbed all the, the surface rust off, and he's just going over it uh, where he needs to. So yeah, I mean, basically it's all there. He's just putting a bit of filler on in, the, in key places. We come over here to the uh, engine there, as you can see. Typical Honda engine. He'll just, uh, well, he's actually give this a bit of a clean up, haven't you, Gary? That's how it come off the mower. Oh, so it's actually, the engine was in pretty good nick, actually, by the looks of it. So um, we're quite happy with that. And all it'll need, as I say, is a respray. And uh, what will you do with the labels? Well, I've taken two of them, I'm sure that front under one, I'm not sure. Right, so he's got that one there, but I mean, if you, if you pull that one off, I could make one of them on the uh, vinyl cutter. Yeah, so I thought it was a bit bubbly at the top. Yeah, so just we'll just pull that off. I saved the main two. Yeah, that's the uh, raised one, the domed one, so that's all right. So this one we can actually just get off. There's a bit of rust underneath that, as you said. And because I've got the uh, vinyl cutter, you might as well just pull it off. As you can see, there's sort of rust bubbling underneath it there, look, so get that off. So nice when the labels come off nicely. So that'll just have a bit of a sand down there, cure that there, and then we can spray that whole lot in with the rest of the deck and the uh, hey presto, everything will be all right. Right, come on in, Harry. Let's go in here, let's open the hot tub up. Let's open the other door. I don't know, shall we open it up? Oh, that's heavy. Why not? Wait, let me get there. Let's get it open. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Should we turn it on? There we go. All right, we're going to get in. Not yet. Wait till Evie comes. Is it warm? Yeah, just going to take it easy this Sunday afternoon. And uh, by the way, thanks for those of you who have actually jumped over to my Retro Hacks channel. Have a look, Evie. And uh, 
subscribe to that. I've been the uh, I've got I've got about 150 extra subscribers as a result of that. So thank you very much. And as I say, if you haven't seen it, what are you doing? Oh yeah, nice. If you haven't seen it, do pop over and have a look at it. I'm trying to get some more videos out this week on the Retro Hatch channel. We're doing some more vintage cooking on there, and uh, that's we've got a lot more to come on that channel as well. Anyway, thanks very much. You're going to go in here. You're going to go get your costume on. Yeah. Go on in. Go and see Mummy. Tell her to get your costume on. Come on, go on in. What are you going to show everybody? <laughs> go on in. Show everyone on YouTube. You didn't go under. <laughs> Go on, show everyone on YouTube that you can go under. <laughs> A couple of nutcases. Tell everyone what you just done on YouTube. Say hello, everybody. We went under the water. Hello, everybody. Oh, there they are, there. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Yes, darling. You put your head wholly under the water, did you? What about you? You don't care, do you? <laughs> hey? I just went down to the bottom. Go on then. Yep, right now, well, you know you've done that, so tell our everybody, thank you for watching. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. We see you again in the next video. We see you again in the next video. Give him a big wave. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. See you later, everyone. Bye da, da, da. for now. You're not crazy.